Good evening to you. They were on their way home to go to a funeral, but a Bourbon County family's trip ended with a crash in West Virginia, and police say a four year old girl was killed. The crash happened early this morning on Interstate 79 in Braxton County, north of Charleston. Tonight, Monique Blair talked to a close family friend who says the young girl called him Papa. She's at the live desk with our top story at 11. Monique? Steven Jackson tells me he knew the little girl well, and she came from the type of family who will do anything they can to help others out. And he says now more than ever, this family is going to need this, the support of those around them. It's hard to, hard to tell you right now. Today was an emotional day for Steven Jackson. We all got met long, about eight years ago and connected just like family. The group of people who Jackson calls his family were on their way back home this morning to Bourbon County from a trip out east. And they was on their way back to uh, come to the funeral. Today was his mom's funeral, but his family didn't make it to the funeral. West Virginia police say eight people were in an SUV on Interstate 79 this morning when the driver lost control, ran into a median, and rolled four times before coming to a stop. Police say a four-year-old little girl was pronounced dead at the scene. Katie Bug didn't make it. Authorities have not released the name of the victim, but Jackson tells us her name was Caitlin Elizabeth Rojas. I call her Katie Bug. Uh, she was just precious to me. Every time she'd see me, she'd holler Papa. Jackson tells us Caitlin was lovable, outgoing, and high-spirited. And now for a family that is already very close, he says this tragedy will only make them closer. They would do anything for us they could or help anybody they could. Now Jackson tells me Caitlin celebrated her fourth birthday on March 17th and she went to Bourbon County Head Start for preschool. At the live desk, Monique Blair, WKYT. Jackson tells us Caitlin's mother suffered a few broken vertebrae and is still in the hospital. He says that Caitlin's two sisters were also in that vehicle, but he says they were able to walk away with a few scrapes and bruises.